Newcastle Ho! This is the first HMAS Newcastle. It's the first ship in the Royal Australian Navy named after the city of Newcastle. The ship itself, this is Rotation 65. It's the sixth deployment to the Middle East area of operations, and it's its last deployment. Here on Swatch, aircraft in the trap, trapped. And these are old platforms. This ship was commissioned in 1993 and it's the youngest of the RAN's Adelaide class FFGs. FFGs are one of the frontline fighting warships of the Navy. It has been for, for 30 odd years. They've been around for a lot longer than most of the um, other Australian Navy ships. I think that they've got a lot more character to them. They have been a workhorse for the Navy. They've been around, I think they're the longest serving platform in the in the Navy's history. I say we are family Newcastle, we're part of Team Navy. People are very important to me and that's uh, both the family members we leave behind and the members that we've got on board and as a family um, I really push that we need to treat each other as we would like to be treated. We look after each other not only in our messes but like the whole ship as well. Whether it comes to damage control or flying stations or boarding party when it really matters, Family Newcastle get together and get the job done. The idea of Family Newcastle is a positive one because um, we all have to rely on each other to, to do multiple tasks, um, whether that's internal or external. Uh, everybody has different strengths and weaknesses and by working together, we, we create a united team to achieve the mission that we need to do. If you are part of Newcastle, then everybody on Newcastle is part of your family. We've got a lot of extra capability installed also. This is the first FFG to go on operational deployment with a 60 Romeo. It is also the first FFG to go on operational deployment with a Scan Eagle drone. Here on our Manitou, uh, an average day could be boarding operations and maritime support operations through to escort duties uh, or working with a larger task group such as an American carrier group. In 2017, we've conducted a smattering of everything. Conducted to maritime security, still focused upon um, counter narcotics and counter weapon smuggling, but the region that we've actually been operating in is vastly larger than I've ever seen before. Uh, we've been out there day in, day out looking for them, found what we can and it's been, uh, it's been challenging, but it's been good. I think the ship's been very perseverant as well in trying to achieve the goal. And it's quite fitting when you think the ship's hull number is 06, and this is its sixth deployment and last one. So we're out for six. I think the Navy will miss the FFG. Uh, I think there's a lot of nostalgia surrounding it. Some of the guys on here have served from pretty much the day it was commissioned, so. Uh, yeah, I think it's got a soft spot in a lot of people's hearts. You do uh, develop a bond with the ship, uh, which might seem weird for other people to understand, but for anyone in the Navy, they'll get it. I'll be sad when this one gets decommissioned uh, in a few years, uh, and it'll be the end of an era for the Australian Navy when we lose the uh, Adelaide-class frigate. We have a lot of sailors that are very loyal to the class of ship and feel very proud in serving on them. So there will always be sailors talking about their time on Newcastle. We have that more than any other class of ship. Newcastle's the only ship I've ever been on, so I've obviously got a strong connection with this one. But um, yeah, it'll be sad to see them go just because of how much they've contributed to Australia.